Your thyroid took a goiter growing in her throat, calmed her nerves, removed her Parkinson's. She's calmed down now. Is that all you want or you want some more? I'll take whatever you can. I knew it. She's a hog. Now, unless you get hoggish, you won't get nothing from God. Now, make up your mind. Blessed is he uh, that hungereth and thirsteth after righteousness, for he's the only one going to be filled. Uh, you're weak down in your ankle bones. Yes, I am. Is that right? Now, you're over 40. <laughs> well, the lame man was over 40, and he got new ankle bones, and she qualifies too. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, put new strength in these ankle bones. There it comes. Jesus. Jesus. I'll get off that horse and walk. <laughs> Everyone say, here comes two new ankle bones. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Come to me one more time. I kind of turn them back and forth and see if they're hurting you any. No, they was when I can, but... They're, there was when you came, but they don't now. She, she don't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> I can tell you one thing. <clears throat> Only a Pentecostal can laugh and cry at the same time. Amen. You watch them. Hallelujah. Everyone said, praise God for new ankle bones. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Blessed be the Lord who have blessed us with great spiritual blessings. Sister, third one in right there. Come, let God make you whole tonight. Hallelujah. And someone said he'll do it. Amen. You believe you're going to heal you? Yes. Do you need to be healed? Yes. You don't mind being called out? No. After all, the word church by definition means the called out ones. Just think if you could just get yourself called out here tonight, you might just belong to the church after all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, you know, when I first came in this country, nobody ever called people out from a congregation. Never would do that, no. That wasn't cool. That wasn't kosher. That was taboo. I'll tell you how times has changed. Nowadays, if you don't call them out, they think they're backslid. <laughs> That's how times has changed. Stand forward. Come to me. Antennas raised. These are her, your antennas, and uh, you raise your antennas, something will strike them. From the glory world, don't come from me, it comes from heaven. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you been on any kind of meds, pills, medications? Tylenol and Motrum. Uh, Tylenol and Motrum. Tylenol and Metrum. Motrum. An anti-inflammatory. And what? An anti-inflammatory. Okay. Uh, that's a strange, these doctors' terms. I mean, they, they, they just hide behind big, long words, and you don't know what it means, but you believe it. Yeah. Now, the preacher tells you in plain English, you don't, you don't want to believe that. <laughs> Yet the preacher will pray, and it'll leave you. Right, listen, God's going to cleanse your blood from these chemicals. That's the first thing it's going to do. It's going to wash it all out. Step of faith. Come. Hallelujah. Now, let me talk to you about your blood pressure. Okay? Okay. You want that healed? Yes. goes up on you. goes up high. It's got to come down. Everyone said there's two things going to happen. Now... There's times when you're feeling tight right in here, like a hand squeezing right over your heart. And that's not your heart. That's panic and anxiety and stress. You're prone to stress and anxiety attacks. Get over yourself. You're going to be free of it. Hallelujah. You want me to quit or pray for it all? Whatever it's got. All right. Dizziness comes to your head. Like zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
weak in your lower spine, bothers your radiant nerve. Hmm? Then you have something in one of your kneecaps. Is that right? Yes. I see your faith's growing. Every time I say something else, like your faith gets bigger. Well, you're almost there, so I better keep on telling you stuff. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm only saying what's coming to me with the other mind since my brain is on the pew, remember? There's, there it sits. Thank God for another mind. Hallelujah. All right. I do see one other thing. It's in the digestion. Digestion. Hmm. Yes. Here's how it starts. It starts in your esophagus. It's kind of like an acid reflux. Is that right? Yes. And when it gets down here, there's a spot that kind of burns on your stomach wall. Gets a little sore, tender there. All right. Now I believe that you're free. I feel satisfied. My spirit's at peace. I can pray for you now. I've delivered my soul. And that first angel's done his job, whose name is Revelation, and the other guy, his name is Miracles. Uh, I never knew their names. But you know, you are what you is. By their fruits you shall know them. Look at your own name and see how it applies to your life. Oh, never mind. Loose this woman now. Set her at liberty. Pure fire, bloodstream. Blood pressure down. Esophagus, acid reflux, liver. Let the knee be free. Pick up your knee and stomp it. Done. Everyone said it's done. Walk around, shout the victory. Praising my God. Hallelujah. Praising my God. Do you love him? Say, I love him. Glory to God. That boy right there in the blue, come. God's going to strengthen your eyes tonight because you're worried about it. No pocket, huh? Okay, hang on to these. Raise up your hands. The instant works of God are miracles. Gradual progressions are healings. That's why there's nine gifts and not eight. Sometimes he uses the knife. Because it's there, he has to use it. I'm saying to you that your eyes and vision is a healing. You're going to have gradual progression, not retrogression, progression forward with your vision, okay? Come to me. That's not the only reason I got you here, you know. That just came to me as I came close to your spirit. You got a lot of big ideas in your head. You got a lot of plans. You can't see how any of them is going to work. But there's uh, two or three of them going to work. Just sort them out and get priority. Get priority over the ones that's going to work. Sometimes you are uh, dissatisfied, like you are kind of beside yourself and you feel like uh, you're sticking out like a sore thumb and uh, you're out of your habitat. Even sometimes you go to church. But you are in the right place here. And there's going to be calls for you to go other places in other environments and other scenarios uh, where their spirit is wrong. And you're to stay away from that. You understand? And that is because God has gifted you and talented you. And uh, they're going to try to, somebody's going to try to use you or use your talent. You understand me? Yeah. All right, God first. I'm not saying you can't do other things, but church and God is first. So get uh, full of fervor about that. The two, the three things that you're planning out of the 50 things that you're planning, focus. One, two, three. One at a time, they will come to pass. But get singleness of purpose. Focus. Okay? Now, to help you focus... Here's better eyesight. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Let his vision come strong, much stronger. Let it increase like ever-increasing joy, ever-increasing vision. Let him follow through on what his uh, imaginations are giving him. Hallelujah. 
and keep his talent out of the wrong places. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise him. Are you happy now? Yeah. Well, that's enough for you to digest for now, okay? Hallelujah. Everyone said, praise my God. God bless Dad. Dad, you've had a stroke, have you? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's strike the stroke and let the feeling start coming back all up and down your right side. It came on your right side. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, Lord, heal his brain. Heal the blood circulating in his brain. Heal his spinal cord. Mend it. Let the nerves all grow back together in his spinal cord. Let feeling start coming down the right side of his body. And don't let him have heart trouble and stroke anymore. You're the one that can keep his blood thin. Go ahead and keep it where it ought to be. Hallelujah to God. Rub a bull. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Rise on your feet there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Getting up pretty good for a fellow that came in on a four-legged walking stick. Lord Jesus, let life come into his right side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoa, glory to God. He's, he's believing God. <coughs> he's not going to go to heaven like this. He's going to heaven in better condition than this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Swing your arm there, son. Thank you, Jesus. This one over Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praising God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Been froze up that way a long time. Needs some exercising, I believe. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Dad, can you feel me doing that? Praise you. You can? Yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. You feel that? Yeah, yeah. You feel that? Yeah, yeah. That too? Yeah, yeah. Well, you got a feeling back. Precious Lord. First step. Thank you, Jesus. Gradual progression. Hallelujah. You had to tackle this thing. If you don't tackle something, Precious. why, it'll never get took care of. Thank Journey of a thousand miles begins at one step. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Dad's so happy he's crying. The, the more joyful he gets, the more he squalls. Hallelujah. And you know what is really making him happy? His name is in the book. That's what's really making him happy. And to think, Dad is thinking right now, he's, He's thinking this, just to think Jesus cares enough about me for a preacher to come down here and pray for me. He knows me. He cares about me. And uh, most churches, they wouldn't touch this case. But he's so happy because the Lord has singled him out tonight and blessing him. Hallelujah. He's all, he got feeling and he's going to have more movement. More movement all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I don't think he's going to sit down for a while. He's going to stand there and enjoy the joy. Praising my God. Granny there in the blue, would you like to be next? We'll pray for you if you'll come. Hallelujah to God. Now, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step now. Dad there, God just starting in on him now. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Have you ever stood out in a cornfield and watched corn grow? You never have, have you? Grows too slow. But I tell you what, come back in two weeks. Is that right? <laughs> First the blade, then the ear, then the full corn in the ear. Paul planting, a potter, Apollos watering, God giving the increase. Now, I'm going to come and meet you here halfway. I want to get the arthritis out of your... Yes, I'm full of that. 
You're a fellow that done. Yes, yeah, my hands, my knees, my you name my I got it. Yeah. Well, that's what I named was whatever the Lord says he's gonna do, he's gonna do. He's not gonna offer confusion. He's not gonna say, Hey, I know what's wrong with you. Ha ha ha, go ahead and suffer. He's not gonna say that. Why is he talking about it unless he means to do something about it? Whether it be instant or progressive, he's going to do something about it. Now, Arthur, arthritis, yes, you, you foul spirit of infirmity, you get your paws off granny's bones. Leave her joints. Let her go free. Give her two new legs, good legs for a granny her age. As your days are, Moses, so shall your strength be. Oh, God. Give her new bone sockets. Yeah. Ah. Make a fist now. Here, I'll hold him and you punch him. Uh, <laughs> Not me, him. <laughs> Try the other one. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy that devil because we is free from pain here because he said, and neither shall there be any more pain. Hallelujah. Now we're going to walk on the legs here. Someone said, here comes two legs free of arthritis. Angels, you go ahead and touch her. The gift of God has touched her. Oh, oh slow down, Granny. Wait for me. <laughs> she was bound up in arthritis just a few minutes ago. She barely could get out of that pew. Hallelujah. Why, well, you're percolating pretty good. What do you feel in your legs? Well, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> you what? Don't feel nothing. You don't feel nothing in your legs? No. But you had arthritis a minute ago. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't get too worked up about it. Just calm down. Take it easy. I can't have you overdoing it. Don't get too excited. It's only a miracle. <laughs> well, can you imagine? Now, she, I don't want to ask her how old she is because she's a woman. <laughs> but she's got two good legs right now for a woman her age. And no more pain and suffering in them. Arthritis free. Hallelujah. Oh, well, how's your fingers feeling? Well, this one's all right, but this is still because I got no feeling in this one. Oh, you got no feeling? No, I've had a stroke about eight years ago, and I got yeah. paralyzed. Yeah, but you came out of that pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the bonus here. The arthritis is gone, but she needs some new nerves in her hands so she can feel something. There it is. You feel that? You feel that? Oh, you do? It's coming, ain't it? There's a little more. A little more. I see that twinkle in your eye. Your face working. You feeling me do that? Yeah. You can you feel it back? Rejoice. The frosting on the cake is when you praise the Lord, see, because that's the only pay he gets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Why don't you send Dad down here right beside you and let him come next? Praising the Lord. Well, how are you enjoying this? Good. You like this? Yes. We're going to pray that as the Lord shows us, okay? I see that your ears and your hearing closing down a little bit on you. Yes. Yes. So you want new ears? Yes. Step of faith. Obeys real good, don't he? See, the commandment that you give the candidate is the word of wisdom. If they Amen. do what they're told, and you have to tell them the right thing, of course, but when they do the commandment, they are healed while they're doing it. 
Amen. That's how Jesus operated. <laughs> now, you have also some blood pressure. Yes, I do. And you're worried about that. Yes. Okay, you're not going to have a stroke. So we'll get that out of your head. There goes one fear. Amen. Then again, you have this weak spot and stiff place in your neck. Exactly. Here. Is that right? Yes, I do. And it, like fingers, it goes down to your shoulder blade. Yes. But I don't want you to feel bad about your stiff neck, Dad, because there's a lot of stiff neck people here in Bath. <laughs> Yours is only physical. We can help you. It's the spiritual stiff necks. You can't do nothing for them. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Well, while my hand is right there, God's going to strengthen your heart. A new heart shall he give thee? Thank you, Jesus. Take the stony heart out of your flesh Thank you. and give your heart a flesh. Thank Here Jesus. is a brand new pump. Pump, I say. Oh. And pump this pressure properly. Come down, high oh. blood. Oh, God. Woo. Oh. Should have started here. Faith comes by hearing. Oh. I kept on that shot. Now let him hear well. In the name of Jesus. Open loud and clear. Yeah. Open loud and clear. Yes. Is it really louder? It's a lot different. <laughs> Does it, <laughs> it seem louder? Well, it seems louder, but they feel different. Well, they'd have to if it was healed. That's right. right. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll give you the acid test here. We'll see how perfect your ears are now. Ticking. What's she doing? Ticking. Oh, God. Touch these ears again. Now listen. Hum. A what? It's humming. Good thing I prayed twice. Because <laughs> it don't tick, it hums. Humming. Well, it takes a perfect ear to hear the tiny hum. This little, this watch I've had since 1967. And I've had it, every year I have to put a new little tiny battery in it. It makes a very faint hum. And if you can hear the hum, not the tick, the hum, I know that you are hearing it. If you can tell me it hums, and he did. Yes. I didn't tell him. He told me it hums. And he has a perfect ear. Thank you, Lord. It takes a perfect ear to hear that little faint hum. Thank you. And so I just use this for a proof, that's all. It's starting to get wore out after all these years, but you got no ears. Thank you. Now move your neck and surprise yourself. A lot better. Huh? A lot better. Do it again. Tell me if there is one pain because in the message tonight Jesus said nothing shall by any means hurt you no it's good pain's all gone yes square them and enjoy that it's a lot better it's what's right here I know it was there I wouldn't have told you other one <laughs> <laughs> your blood pressure's down Thank you. your heart's pumping better Congratulations. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hold still a minute. I'm seeing in your x-ray a little stiffness coming through here. Right. And it moved down your hip. Yeah. You, you got that working a job that were in the job you was exposed to the weather in this job. Yes. Well, get back to work. You're here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everyone say praise the Lord for that. Oh, glory to God. Sister, come. Let God touch you. Amen. Thank the Lord. You happy? Yes. Raise hands. Not severe, but I'm seeing a pressure that comes to your head here. It gets in behind your eyes like a vice. Mm. Yes, yes. It's leaving you now. Now, there's a spot up here in your nose, right up there in the bridge. Where long ago when you was young, something struck you. Baseball bat. What? Baseball bat. I was playing ball. Well, you don't even look like a baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> God's going to move the bone, and you're going to breathe through that, no, that bone again, and you, will, and you should snore no more. That's a plus for you. 
Hallelujah. Step out of the boat, Sister Peter, and come a little closer. Don't look down. You're walking on the water. You could drown. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Stop. Obey's real good, don't she? <laughs> oh, glory. Thank the Lord. Everyone say, praise ye the Lord. Now, a dry tickle that goes down your throat here. It kind of feels like a string hanging. Huh? Open your mouth wide. Uh, let's see here. Got it? What's wrong with you, Pentecost? You didn't see the string? You're supposed to believe in the supernatural world. The spirit world parallel to the natural world here tonight. They're moving together. That is, if you're Pentecostal, if you're something else, but I can understand. Besides, we can always check our throat and see whether or not we've got the stringer or not, okay? Swallow. Any string hanging? Don't feel a thing. That's good. Gone? Oh, we must have got the string on, I know. <laughs> Too bad you didn't have your eyes open to sing it. Step of faith. Hallelujah to God. All right. There's weakness in your wrist here, in your carpal tunnels, particularly that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you trying to learn keyboard or something or go on a computer? Oh, computer, yes. Yeah. I ain't talking about music. I'm talking about that new technology stuff, which is so hard to get through your head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I think that's, I believe that's where you did that. And let me fix it so you can get back on the computer, okay? Bye-bye, devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's done. Now, let me do one last thing. Pray for your kneecaps, your knees. Because when you get down on your knees, you have a hard job getting back up, which is why your prayer time has been shortened. See, With no knees, you can pray forever. <laughs> why? The Bible said pray about ceasing. Here's your kneecaps. Head's clear. The vice like is gone. Everyone said it's done. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Now, if I checked everything else, we know it's gone. It's done, right? Amen. Let me save the time and keep fishing here tonight. Right now, I'm fishing of a line. After a while, I'm going to go in mass and fish of a net. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praising the Lord. Well, I'm happy now. Are you happy? Oh, glory. Did I pray for you this morning? Well, I'll make up for it tonight if you want to come on down here. A wonderful God. Hallelujah. Here she comes. Now, it might seem boring to you, but it's special to her. And you make it special to yourself also for her sake, and then your turn will probably be next. And you'll be special. God bless you. You want the Lord to heal you? Yes. Okay. That's going to happen. Raise up your hands. Look on me now. You want blood pressure to come down? Yes. How high is it? I don't know. It's high. I take medication for it. It is? Well, hang on. I got a pill for you, too. Just open your mouth. Here it is. There. That's called a gospel. The gospel, you know, that which heals blood pressure. Hello. God's going to touch your heart, too. You want that fixed? Yes. I see you're having more trouble sleeping over here, yes. so you sleep over here. Yes. Well, you're going to sleep on this side tonight, all night. Wake up feeling good, knowing that that's a sign of a new heart. Can you receive it? Yes. Good. Well, keep coming. Now, I have to tell you that sugar runs in the family. People in your family have sugar. Yes. Yes. And you've been kind of in denial yourself over it. Yes. 
Well, let's just uh, confess, and he's faithful and just to remove. Uh, that's the gist of the scripture. You're getting new sugar-free blood, okay? Okay. Now, when you work with your arms above your head, they feel like two dead weights <laughs> fall down. You can't keep your arms up working over your head. Yeah. But you're keeping your arms up pretty good right now because they're already healed. They've been up for a long time already. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, we want to get the dizzy spells out of your head, okay? Yes. All right. Vertigo, go. She's got a hormone Im imbalance, too. She don't know nothing about the hormone. But it affects the hair follicles in her body. She don't even, she's learned to live with that, so it, it never dawned on her. God heal the hormone, too. Yeah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Walk toward me now. Come, Granny. <laughs> oh, my, something just happened. Wiggle your toes and say, hello, toes. Hello, toes. Can you feel them now? Yes. Well, there comes the feeling back in your toe. It started at your ankle bones. Your ankles are weak. Now the blockage is gone, ankles healed. Now the feeling's in your toes. Clear to your toes. She must have new feet, total new feet. Hallelujah to God. Thank God, thank God. Now I praise thee, O Lord, that you've done what you said you'd do. Any reoccurring symptom will be res resisted and it'll flee. We're keeping these things. Cost Jesus everything, and this preacher a whole lot too, so we sure ain't wasting time tonight. We're keeping what God's given us. Hallelujah. Walk around and shout the victory. Hallelujah to God.